Hi, my name is Nisar Gakadan. I am Senior RP Consultant at CRG Solutions Private Limited. Today, we are going to talk about RPA development aspects. Now, when we talk about RPA, the first word which comes to our mind is UiPath because this is one of the top tools of RPA right now in the RPA industry. When we talk about UiPath from a development perspective, there are certain aspects which we think we should consider and which we should think about before delivering any RPA project. So talking about the best practices, every UiPath project, if it fits into a RE framework, we should deliver the project in a framework. For delivering the project in a framework, we should definitely use robotic enterprise framework, which is given by UiPath itself. This framework works with orchestrator queue. Now talking about the best practices, this framework completely takes consideration of exception handling, orchestrator queue, retry management, all the types of exceptions and the process flow. So isn't it wonderful? So here I have a demonstration today to show you how a Windows based application can be automated. And also I have utilized orchestrator queue in addition of RE framework. So let's execute. So what we are going to do is we are going to pass all of these transactions to orchestrator queue, which we have right here. So let's open the queue. As of now, the queue is empty. Once we start execution, the process will dispatch all the data from Excel to orchestrator queue. And once all the data is dispatched to the orchestrator queue, it will open the application, which is UI demo, a Windows based application. It will start entering the data in the application one by one. And also we will see an example of what if a system exception occurs in between. So let's start. So once I start execution, Let's go ahead and let's check the data in queue. So robot has started execution. Let's refresh. And as you can see, the data has been pushed to queue. Also, as you can see, application has been opened and I have utilized the best practice of background process automation where you don't have to keep the application open. Also, as you can see at the similar time when the application is working and the data is being processed, you can see the status is getting updated in the queue as successful. And the between, if any system exception occurs, let's close the application. UiPath RE framework has capacity and also orchestrator queue has capability to retry particular transaction if it is failed. So if you refresh, you can check the status of the particular queue. So UiPath RE framework will automatically consider closing of the application as a sudden system exception and it will automatically handle that exception and it will open the UI path UI demo application again and start processing the transactions. Also a transaction which was failed due to system exception will be retried again based on the number of retries. You can also define the number of retries. So as you can see the queue has been retried and now UI path RE framework will it is still running it will trigger UI demo application again and it will process the remaining transactions. So talking about the best practices we have seen here, we are using RE framework, which is the best practice. As you can see, UI demo application is open and rest of the transactions are being processed. And also this automation is a background automation. So even if I go to any other web page or change the application scope, it doesn't impact my automation. So considering all the best practices, including RE framework, delivering a project into a framework and utilizing orchestrator queue for better transition data management. Let's save and all this data have been processed and we can see the execution was done and all the data has been processed successfully. Thank you so much for watching this video and also take consideration of all the best practices while delivering a RPA project. All the best.